So this challenge is actually very similar to the previous one, but instead of testing with Colombo, we're testing with Da Verrazano, or however you pronounce that. So um, what we're going to be doing is putting this name right here, or this one, it can be either one, it doesn't matter, because it converts to lowercase anyway. We're going to put that into our form, or into our put request, and we want to test the same fields that we did before. So um, we're in functional test.js, and we have this as the surname. So what we want to do is, I'm just going to remove the assert or fail here, because that's going to ruin everything for us. Um, so let's do that. So first thing we want to do is we want to send um, a request, because the request hasn't been started here. So we want to say try.request, and we want to send it to the server, which is the express app that we imported. Next thing we want to do is call, we want to set the type of request and it's going to be post, but I'm just going to call put here because that's the example that's been used here. And we want to do this to slash travelers. Then uh, we want to set, put the, um, the request body. So we want to set the request body to this right here. So what we want to do is say, if we want to send this with some arguments. So we'll say dot send, and then inside it, we can put surname, and we can put this um, surname here as a string. So what this will do is it'll send um, a post or a put request to the slash travelers route, and it will give this surname. And then what server.js will do is it'll pick out the um, entry from with the surname. It'll fill out the data with the details, and then we'll JSON that data back. And, we, and this data will be in the response body, and we just need to check its fields. So after um, we do this, we can call the dot end method. And this is where we give a callback function to run once this has been completed. And this will take in an error and a response. And the f we need to do our test now. So the first thing we want to test is that if we look at this, we have to test that the status is equal to 200. And like I said, the status is a header thing. And it's 200, which means it was a successful um, post or put request. So what we want to do here is do assert dot equal, and we want to check if the response dot status is equal to 200. The next thing we need to check is if the type is an application dash j slash json and this is the um content type i guess and th this can be accessed using response.type so we can say assert dot equal and we can check if the response dot type is equal to the application slash json right here so we can just copy and paste that in the third thing we want to check is if the um, first name field has been set to Giovanni. Oh, I don't know how you say that. Um, I don't know why I'm even trying. So if we look at the server here, we can see that this is what it's supposed to be. So we want to check if the name from the body, remember that the request of body is this JSON object right here. We want to check if the name field has been set to this right here. So um, I lost where I was at. So we want to say assert dot equal, and we want to check if the response dot body dot name is equal to, and then I'm just going to copy and paste the string right here. The next thing we want to do is ch um, run the um. We want to check if the surname field has been filled out correctly. So we can just copy this and um, we can change the name field. This should be name without an N. We can change the name to a surname. And we want the surname to be equal to this right here. So if I copy that and paste it here, that's all we want to test our surname to be equal to. Um, and if we look here, yeah, that's what the surname is equal to. And I'm also going to move this done function um, inside this so that it um, runs a done function once all of these checks have been completed. So what this will do is it'll put a, um, a put or a post request to slash travelers. And it will inside the request body, it'll put this surname right here with this surname right here. And what this will do is in server.js, um, it will 
find it'll extract the surname from the request body and it'll convert it to lowercase then it will find the surname from here and then fill out the data with this and json that data back in the request in the response body then what we can do is um call the end method and then give it a callback once we get the response back and we check if the status was 200 which means it was successful we check if it's a json that's been returned then we check if the name is equal to this and we check if the surname is equal to this and then we call the done function to tell, tell free code camp we're finished so that should be everything we need to do here so we can just copy the um, live app link and submit it and hopefully none of that has worked Okay, so apparently we have to use fresh here and we can't use any other name like response. So it literally just checks if these have been set correctly. So make sure when you're doing your callback function, you use rest instead of response. And if you do that um, and you, then you submit it, we'll see that everything passes and you're ready to move on.